Hi, I'm Cindy McGee, and you're watching Polymer Clay TV. Today's Butterfly Kaleidoscope Pattern to Polymer Veneer is inspired by the print on this top. For the first set of butterflies, I wanted to create a slightly paler yellow. I'm starting with Primo Sculpey in Sunshine and Primo Sculpey White. And I mixed half as much of the white with the yellow, and however much you mix depends on how many butterflies you want to make. Once mixed together, you get a little bit paler shade of that yellow. The blended clay was then rolled into a sheet. I rolled it fairly thin. If you're using a hand roller, this is about how thin. It's a five on my clay machine. I am using these two silk screens from createalong.com. This is the set of three moths and the set of three butterflies in the polymer trading coin size. For these first butterflies, I'm using this chromium oxide green pan pastel. Now you can use an applicator to apply these pan pastels to the silk screen, but I just prefer to use my fingertip. I feel like I get a little more control that way. First butterfly you want to use and place the silk screen orange side down onto the clay sheet. I like to use my clay roller and just smooth over it to make sure that it's firmly in place before I begin. Then I'm just using my fingertip to apply the green pan pastel through the silk screen to create the softly colored butterfly. I'm going to create a few of these. For the next set of butterflies, I'm using that same yellow clay and a different butterfly. This is actually um, one of the moths from this screen and the ultramarine blue shade pan pastel. For the next set, I'm using Primo Sculpey Navy Clay, which I conditioned and rolled to a setting five on my clay machine. To make these butterflies, I'm using the titanium white pan pastel and a different butterfly from the set of butterflies. The next set I'm silk screening onto some Sculpey Souffle and this is Turnip which I have conditioned and rolled to a setting number five and I'm using a different butterfly and the same titanium white pan pastel. For the last set of butterflies, I'm using Spanish Olive Primo Sculpey, rolled to a setting number five, a different butterfly, and this Hansa Yellow Tint Pan Pastel. To help set those pan pastels in place, I like to place a piece of plastic over the top. This is a piece of a plastic bag, or you can use clear wrap or parchment paper and just give it a press and it just helps set those powders into the clay so that they're less likely to smear or rub off. I did this for all of the butterflies that I screened with the pan pastels. The next step was to cut out all of my individual butterflies. I'm using a craft knife to do this. I did not worry about trying to get their little antennae. I just went around the wings and the bodies. Do this for all of the butterflies that you've silk screened. For the base of the veneer, I'm using Primo Sculpey Accents Pearl Clay, which I conditioned and rolled to a setting 7 on my clay machine. I used that original fabric pattern sort of as a reference and then began to place my butterflies over the surface of that pearl sheet. Wow. 
Once I had them all arranged the way I liked, I very gently rolled over the surface with my acrylic rod just to make sure they were going to stick to that background clay layer. Trim off any butterflies that are extending off the base clay and you can use those extra pieces to fill in along the edges anywhere that you would like. I used a circle cutter to cut some sections from the butterfly screen and then I rolled out more of the clay that I used to silk screen the butterflies and I'm going to be using the swirl vines and the flower screen texture sheet from Create Along to add some texture. I'm going to use the swirl vines on two of the colors and the flower screen on the third. I cut individual strips from the textured clay. They're maybe a quarter of an inch wide. This is really up to you. Then I arranged the strips alternating the colors to create pieces big enough to add the other parts to my pendants. I added a little DecoArt metallic luster and champagne ice with my fingertip to the textured areas just to highlight the patterns a bit more. And here are my finished pendants. This technique would also be great for making polymer trading coins. For more inspiration, join our Polymer Clay Tribe Facebook page. Over 17,000 members sharing projects every day. For lots more creative polymer clay ideas, visit the Polymer Clay TV blog.